Hey guys, um, number five in uh, angles and whatnot, given, uh, sorry, give the angle relationship that can be used to prove that the following two angles are congruent. So we know that these two angles are the same as each other, and we want to know what's the name of the rule that allows me to say that. So there's a little trick um, for when we start getting into these mixed up ones here. Um, and the first thing I want to show you is if you take this line and you slid it down and you kept that angle's position, you would see that it would end up over here. Um, so you might be tempted to call it vertically opposite, but technically speaking, it's not, of course, right? The vertically opposite is up here and the vertically opposite for this one is down here, but they will still be congruent. Um, the thing is the name of the rule. So here's the little trick for the name of the rule. The first part of the rule deals with whether or not it's on the same side or the opposite side of the transversal. And if it's on the opposite side of the transversal, like this one is, we call that alternate. Um, and so since it's on opposite, these two are on opposite sides, they're alternate angles. Now, they're also both inside the parallel lines. They could be outside, that would make them exterior, but these two angles are inside the parallel lines, so these are called alternate interior. And it's always going to work the same way when you're trying to figure out some of these angle proofs. It's going to, it's going to be, you know, are they on the opposite or the same side of the transversal? And are they outside or inside the parallel lines? So these are opposite transversal, alternate, and inside the parallel lines, interior.